Well, this is quite odd. I had a phone call on Sunday night from one of the tenants here on our estate saying that smoke was billowing from the electric substation. Uh, yeah. That, that one over there. So Adi and I have just pulled up. We're going to go and take a look and see what's going on. Well, definitely can't see any smoke right there. Oh, and the door's open at the back here. Ah, interesting. I wonder if someone's been in. That's it. Yeah. Well, it doesn't smell of smoke. No. Can't smell anything. Apparently. Apparently it was billowing out of here last night. Well, we'll, we'll soon know if the alarm system's uh, working. We actually open the door and see what's going on. Yeah, we let's. Know, we might have to come and uh, have a, a chat to everybody else. There are some people here, there are doors open. But not a lot going on. Interesting. Some tape on the corner, whether or not they taped off where the fire engines were. Who knows? Everything's off and dead, mate. Okay. So no alarm. Try, the, try yeah. the lights. No. No. So we got no power here. Everything is dead. That's going to be a cold day. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a cold day, whether we got heat in or not. No. no. So we got no computers. No computer, no internet. No. To charge anything, no heat, no power, no lighting, absolutely zero. Hello. You have got we, a package. But we have got but we have got a package. And the shopkeeper appeared. And suddenly the shopkeeper what's, appeared. What's your situation then? Candles, is it? You're all huddling together to keep warm? What happened? The, cable, the main cable coming up into the switch gear in there is just completely charred and the smoke all up the wall and everything. Oh, so joy. Uh, well, fun and game. So. I don't know if you caught that, but there's a big power cable going up to the substation and um, where that comes into the substation, the whole wall is charred. It's obviously something underground, which is getting rather interesting, has gone awry. And now uh, it, there's a, a fight to find out whose responsibility is, whether it's the people that own the estate, whether it's the power company. So I've, I've literally no idea when that's going to get fixed. Stay tuned, because this is going to get interesting. So I think the only light I've got this one here so that's that's our light for the uh, office light for the office <laughs> not let's say we're going to be able to do much else because it is so cold in here oh, I don't like it. so in amongst all this chaos going on this morning with no power we did get a new GoPro not sponsored by the way by GoPro unless you want to sponsor us so. GoPro. well really do a lot with my day because <clears throat> there's no power here but what I can do is vacuum carpet oh the glamour of it all there you go vacuuming the carpet on YouTube in 4k tell me it doesn't get better than that okay we have had enough now it is too cold <laughs> uh, the, the power is not coming on today um, so we're just gonna lock up uh, both both of us can't feel our toes. Uh, I can't feel my fingers. Can't work when it's this cold. We need heat in this place. So um, we got no lights either. Not even emergency lights. We've noticed the emergency lights aren't working. So we're going to get out of here and get on some PCs at home and see what we can do. All right. Well, we're in this morning and uh, well, lights are on. We do have power. <laughs> now over in the corner, we got a we got a couple of well, we got. A few lads and some uh, generators go in there. You can see it through there, you can jump the window. The, uh, your average uh, worker there with a phone in his hand and his hand in his pocket. But hey, if it gets the job done. Yeah, so we're uh, we're power on. I think they're working on getting that main cable sorted, but the generators will do us. And hopefully they'll be okay for the live stream tomorrow. Hi guys, so um, big job of the day. Now we've got the flaps open on the pod, is we're gonna swap the floor over. Yes, shock horror, dun, dun, dun. Actually, this is a very, very large piece of linoleum. And if I take you to the back, look, I'll show you what's going on. Actually, because we haven't fixed it down, there is a back to it, hooray. Which means every time we lay a new floor, we have got the option to flip it and use the reverse side. So we're live streaming tomorrow, first one of the year, of the new year, I should say. So new year, new floor, wish us luck. Because now we're about to strip the entirety of this and flip the lino. So we get a better surface on the other side. Right, time for some time lapse.
We're going to do a bit of nipping and tucking in the corners where it's slightly different at each end, but that's pretty darn close. Look at that. I'll go get the knife, mate. Okay. Ta da! Wow, there we go. Look how shiny and clean the floor is. I can scarcely believe it. It is like walking on fresh snow. It really is. Look at that. Might only be a floor to you, but to us, that makes all the difference. So that's it. Right, time to go through all the paint, get all the stuff back in or racked away, which will probably take longer than actually swapping this around, but looking pretty magnificent. Right, the fruits of our labor, looking a bit, well, I say fruits of our labor. Ed did most of it, because my back's gone. But uh, had a bit of a tidy up, and I think uh, we're gonna uh, attempt to do an impromptu live stream. And if you are uh, following, if you are subscribed, then you're helping us to get out there more. The more we get out there, the more we do. Right, we've just finished a pop-up live stream. We don't normally do that, but we wanted to test some paints and to test a whole load of stuff prior to tomorrow's live stream, which is the main one. So you can just see the lights at the back of the pod now. Because we've had to switch a lot of the main lights out. I'm going to switch these off now. It's all going to go very dark. Very, very dark. Oh, it's very dark. It's very, very, ah, there he is. There we go. How ironic, because yesterday we had a power cut and now we can't see anything. That's my coat, my black coat in the darkness. Yeah, I can see that. I think, mate, that'll do us for one day, don't you? Mind you, I haven't said that. I've got to go home and I've got three hours worth of work uh, writing content for the uh, paintings. So my day doesn't stop. That's all right. In for a penny, in for a pound.